Hey there, this is Atul from Team K Italian Academy and in this video we're going to talk about how to register for a free Oracle Cloud trial account so that you can practice uh, these labs without spending any money on this uh, on thing uh, where you can do things like creating a databases, virtual machines, networking, storage, security, etc. Now, uh, in order to create this free trial account, you will need three things. First is an email address, so you have a valid email address that you have not used in past with Oracle Cloud account. Second, you need is a phone number, uh, so that any notifications or any delays or any uh, any outages can be notified to your e phone number. And third is you will need credit card or a debit card with an international payment enabled. Now the common question comes, if it's free, why I'm being charged for, or why be asking for a Cloud trial account? Why it's being asking the credit or debit card? And the reason being is that the free is first 30 days is free which means that uh, or 300 dollar whatever comes first and after that um, it's not going to charge you after uh, like uh, for during the time and if you want to if we only and only when you wish to upgrade to a paid account then only it will use that credit card so you are safe in that terms what oracle is going to do is will they will deduct one dollar and will return it within 24 hours to make sure that the credit and debit card are are okay so you can stay safe and this is what i'm talking about is march 2022 um unless some things change so in this free account you get two things one is always free services so there are some basic services which are very limited in nature they are always they will always be free so for example autonomous database you get some uh, processing power and some pro database uh, of size specific size and uh, and shape which is um, same thing you get for virtual machine you get a um, limited number of virtual machines with a shape which is always free and then you get a storage uh, I think around couple of GBs four or five GB free for lifelong as long as you continue to use them on top of that you get $300 to credit uh, which is valid for 30 days whatever comes first you can use that for various different or to try out different cloud services on Azure sorry on Oracle so this is all in a nutshell in order to for you to come to this page you can either um, come and type this cloud.oracle.com or you can google and say free Oracle cloud account and then it will take you to the same page which is if you see free click on this or you come to the same page here I've already logged into the or I already have an account that's why it's showing me the cloud account name but it'll tell you how this comes so cloud.oracle.com and click on sign up and under the free trial it the same it will take you to the same page um, so let me close some of these tabs so this is where you first what on you come on a page like this uh, and first thing you select is your country and make sure you use whatever your credit or debit card registered with whatever country in that de debit or credit card registered you use that so i'm based in uk so i'm going to select here united kingdom here and then this is where you enter your first name and last name and then email address which i've created uh, already so i created a test email address which is uh, k21 academy 20 2203 so let me enter that at gmail.com and then this is where you verify say uh, captcha which means to um, for oracle to validate that these are not bots these are genuine user so you click on this is a standard practice you might have seen these so here i will be selecting the buses they're asking me to so select this and click on here and say very next and that i think there's one more time so i'll select all the buses there are three again and click on verify and it says I'm a human which verifies and then it should open up because my okay looks like my first name and last name will be cleaned again that's why verify email is not coming so let me select these and once this uh, verify click on this verify email now it is basically it says verify link and it expires in two minutes or so so maybe make sure you go to your email inbox you'll see an email like oracle cloud verify your email address and click on verify email and that will open up a new window where you continue to sign up so idly 
Now this is it's all being filled up. I need to now enter my password and then confirm the password. Now this company name is optional. You leave it blank. I'm selecting K to uh, cloud account name. K to Academy 2203 is already being used, so it's it has already added 2203, and probably I'll be adding um, maybe 01, or I'll put it today's date date which is 17th. Uh, so K to Academy 220317. Now this is the account we'll be using when we log in. Logging in, we'll be using um, it uh, later. Now this is a home region in which which country your primary account will be created. Is it in? Uh, there are multiple regions. Uh, again, later in subsequent lessons, we're going to talk more about these regions. But for now, um, you can pick any region. It doesn't need to be tied to your uh, your credit or credit card or your address. I'm going to pick still stick to UK. Uh, London uh, this is where I'm based so UK South London I'll select this now home region will you can never change home region but you can add or subscribe to another region in and later we'll talk about that as well in future and you click on continue from here and on the next screen you're going to put your address and the phone number and the verification the phone number and the payment verification uh, on this so I'm going to hide these details in terms of entering. Now make sure that you address that you enter should match with the uh, with the credit or debit card that you're going to use. So enter the address and then uh, the phone number. Make sure that uh, you use phone number as is being shown here, or with a, like whatever is written here. Be careful with that. It doesn't accept any uh, phone with just text only. They want someone to be available on on to be available on the phone number. So. Now, next is you need it asks for the payment verification or payment. Uh, again, read this carefully. You won't be charged unless you elect to upgrade an account. So by default, you will have a free account. And after 30 days or uh, once you have consumed all the $300, Oracle is going to give you an option to upgrade. And only when you upgrade, it's going to char start charging. For now, it will deduct $1 and then return it back. As you see here, small temporary charge on the payment method. This is a verification hold that will be removed automatically. So click on add a payment method here. And this is where you enter your credit and debit uh, card. Make sure that has a international payment enabled. And so verification method, in this case, it's only allowing me asking me credit card. So depending on uh, whatever is required here, you can only enter that. So I'll select credit card. And now again, I'm going to hide that and come back on Oh, this is where you say you can do Visa or MasterCard or MX and I'll provide these details, security code and click on finish. So I'm going to hide these details and then come back once this payment method is in enabled. Now once uh, it's all successful, you should get an email uh, that it's all successful. For some reason, uh, there are certain scenarios in which your account creation might fail. So let's suppose you've already used this email address or uh, the uh, phone number or credit card in past. Uh, you might hit some issues or you have issue with your payment uh, then you might get some errors if you are in a situation like that there's a right hand bottom there will be a chat window or you can reach out to oracle support on that so there's a cloud support chat you can say if you if you need a trial version then you probably say click on this need trial and start chat if you want to i think better would be you can go to the sales and say hey i'm going to like to purchase it and but then before that i want to try it out and maybe you can uh, either chat or get help from sales as well so these are the two options for you in case if your account doesn't get created even though you think everything is right for you you have given that once your account is being created you should see an email like that which will say that your account is fully provisioned and it'll tell you give you all the details like your account what all account details are there let me go back and pull out some of the uh, information you will also get some um, new support identifier which is a cloud support identifier csi with this a uh, in case if you need uh, once your account is created and you're hitting any technical issues then you can use the csi we'll cover that in subsequent videos about uh, how to get support once your account is being created now um, this is another email you'll get get started with a uh, cloud account and this is where i have all the details in terms of this is my cloud account name and my user id so once these accounts are created you go back to the same which is in order to login cloud.oracle.com and then this time you log in, but you're going to log in with your cloud account name. Remember this cloud account name. This is the name you'll be logging in. So this is K2 Academy 2203. Click on next. I'll be using my user ID. 
and then I'll enter the password in order to log in. So we'll hide this and we'll come back um, on in order to click on sign in and click on sign. And now you will log in into the portal or your Oracle Cloud Infrastructure or OCI portal. Now what this portal look like, what are the different things, I'm going to cover it in this in the next video. But you can have from here, you can see all the service manuals or sorry, all the services. Uh, this is hamburger menu or service ma menu. It'll tell you how much money is being left in your account. And if you want to upgrade, you can upgrade from here. There are other ways as well. But I'll cover, explain this navigation path later. Now with that completes our uh, uh, process on how to create a free trial account on Oracle Cloud. If you hit any problem and if you're part of the training program, uh, ask in WhatsApp group. Um, and as I said, use those chat resources to get help from Oracle uh, sales team. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if in case you missed upon anything, or if you want to learn the core concepts discussed, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class for Cloud for DBAs, What's New along with Q&As. Under this free class, you'll be learning about the recent changes in Oracle. You'll be learning about why DBAs should learn Cloud and what exactly to learn. There will be a demo for you. You'll be learning about the job options in Cloud along with 12 weeks roadmap that is from beginners to the expert Oracle Cloud DBA. So in order to register for this class, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash Cloud DBA 02. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to click on book your free seat now. And after that, you just have to select your event date according to your availability. Enter your full name, your email address, your phone number and click on register now. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of link. You just have to save that link to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.